Oh, cute looking eel. No, I'm naked. All right, that's you. Plus, I needed to say how much I loved her. And I needed to be looking right into her eyes. What was the difference? Look at me and say it. I love you. Well, that's about right. And you're naked. Perfect. Then I'm gonna try something I haven't done since high school. Backflip! Ouch! Oh! Oh! oh. Did I stick it, you guys? Oh, no. Not really. No, you did not. That was worth it. Oh. I can't do this all on my own. No, I know I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. I thought eventually we'd be running this place together. How cool would that be? I love how you two have kept everything in the hospital the same, you know, except for the free pudding. Sorry, baby, but the free pudding's for us. Turk, you made a mess. Let him out! <laughs> Janitor eat. Janitor clean. Janitor only clean. Mm. Eat. No. Clean. No. I'm not wearing that. It's not up to you. Fine. Hey, it is kind of cool. I want it back. Ah, too late. She coming through. Oh. Salute. There it is. Let's do this. Come on. Mounting. Three, two, one. <laughs> eagle, eagle. Are these two doctors? I'm afraid so. Never stop spinning me. Eagle. I can't find it! Dude! Follow my voice! I'm coming! There's another hospital down about three miles that way. You okay, babe? Eagle. I totally spaced and forgot what's wrong with Benjamin here. Is he the one with the broken ribs? Nope. Maybe he's the guy with sinus polyps. I don't think there's any polyps, but he definitely has some oily skin issues. I should turn him on to that dynamite apricot scrub I stole from Elliot. Oh, come on! Focus! I suppose I could go get his chart, but I left it all the way downstairs. Come on, man, you got eight years of medical experience. Use it! Maybe you can smell it out. I want to say it smells like non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. What are you doing? You don't know what any diseases smell like. Ah, oh, to hell with it. What do you have again? Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Of course you do, you reek of it. You know, the goal should be to keep that anger inside you, growing like a anger baby. You gotta get inside Liam's head, right? You gotta find out Liam's weaknesses. Like, uh, is he afraid of the dark? Does he have any food allergies? How's he do if he's left out on open water? Does he have a pet? Could that pet be convinced to betray him? Would you be willing to get plastic surgery to further your goals? Would you change the location of your eyes to here? That's the level of commitment I'm looking for, or maybe I'm just wasting my time. Are you on drugs? Are you? I thought it was a nude beach. It was a church, Bob. So? Fine. I'll go. Hey, stop it, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Oh, we're having sex like all the time. Oh, no! Why? Why do people react like that when they picture me having sex? You try it. Oh, God! Not a pretty sight, is it? JD and I were together uh, during our honeymoon. He flew in and stayed in a bungalow by the pool. He forgot his favorite lotion. Am I supposed to let him get ashy? We only hung out together when you were sleeping or when I said I was going to get a massage. Well, sometimes you were. <laughs> Your tiny surgeon brain may now go back to its regularly scheduled program. He's not gonna stop until you go. What is your name? 
Glenn Matthews. Well, that was easy. That's yeah, easy now. When I was a kid, I had a horrible impediment. I'd say, Get my foof. I'm glad I wasn't there during those times. I would have torn you to pee foof. Here's the incredibly breathtaking view of Hope Town. And, well, what do you know? It's JD. What's he doing here? Well, he made me change my wedding plans. And as punishment, he's got to spend 10 minutes on top of this lighthouse. That's all I got to do? That's it, my friend. Then how come I got these fish taped to my hands? <laughs> Hey, Tommy. What's up? I've got this one scenario where he and I are walking down a dark alley. JD is a mugger who jumps out with a knife. Derek used to be the mugger, but then I thought that was a little racially insensitive. Anyway, there's a scuffle. I wind up with a knife. So, at first, I force them both to pleasure me, but then it takes a left turn, and I go on a killing spree. Huh, I know it's a little weird, but we all have our little tricks to help us climax, right? Elliot Reed, two years, therapy free. I don't need it anymore. In my mind, you're the one who made me the man I am today. You can't blame me for that. No, it's too mean. It's a book of all your rants. I always wrote them down. Wow. Check it out. Pleather bound, I did the calligraphy. The number next to each passage is a rating system from one to five, depending on how much that particular rant hurt me emotionally. One being something I could easily shrug off, and five being something that still makes me want to cut myself. For God's sake, Ted, get some sun. Well, I, I've not sunscreened up yet. Live a little. Ah. Warmer than I thought. Damn you, Mother Earth! Damn you! Oh! Why? Sorry, Dr. Mantoots. <laughs> Don't laugh. His name is Mantoots? Stop laughing. <laughs> That's where music comes from. Some of it's just transcendental. So what the hell did you think leaving this place was going to be like? I don't know. I, I guess I thought there'd be a lot of heartfelt goodbyes. And when I was finally ready to leave, it'd be like one of those great old sitcom finales. Power through one switch. That seems crazy. Oh, you can sing me anything. It's great.